Hi, this is Dan Cordopassi of TSG Multimedia, and today I'm reviewing an HO scale big boy for Mather and Genesis. This is one of Union Pacific's 4884s, which were some of the biggest steam engines ever produced. This model is somewhat speculative because this represents the 4014 as it's projected to look an excursion service with an oil tender. So whether or not the real 4014 will look exactly like this when it's finished, we'll see, I guess. But in any case, it's a cool model, so I had to get it. These Atherin Genesis Big Boys are available both with DCC and sound or in straight DC versions. My model is DCC equipped and comes with a factory installed Tsunami sound decoder. The MSRP for this version is $649.98. The MSRP for the DC version is $549.98. This thing is absolutely loaded with detail. It's got plenty of freestanding piping, grab irons, just about everything I think that's probably on the real engine has been reproduced. And if not, it looks pretty good anyway. <laughs> the paint on the model is very good, and all of the writing is legible, even the small things like the truss plate and some stencils on the air reservoirs. The detail on the front is also really good. As it comes out of the box, the front does not include a working coupler. The real engines have a swing-out coupler that folds closed like this as it's shown and then it also opens up. So if you want a working coupler, there is one included in the model box. The top of the model is also wonderfully detailed with things like the whistle, the dual stacks, all of the domes, and one nice thing on the cab, this little hatch opens on the top. Even the back of the engine, which isn't something you normally see when it's hooked up to the tender, is pretty well detailed. And another thing that's kind of cool is one of these doors actually opens. So the front of the tender is also very nicely detailed. And the way these work, there's a drawbar that provides a mechanical connection between the two, and this slips inside the tender and clips on a little uh, post inside there and holds the two securely together. And then there's an electrical connection that's made by the plug, which plugs into a socket in the tender. The rear of the tender includes several lights, including the backup light. As the model comes from the factory, this light and this light work together, not independently as they probably should, and the marker lights are not operational. The tender comes equipped with a McHenry scale coupler. The coupler height was correct according to the KD coupler height gauge. There's also a lot of detail on the underside. Both engines are articulated, meaning that they pivot, which most real articulated locomotives have the rear engine fixed and the front one will articulate but I'm sure that's a concession to having the model go around some tighter curves that are typical on model railroads. There is a traction tire on the main driver on the second engine. Also as near as I've been able to figure only the first three sets of drivers on each engine pick up power. The last set doesn't have any contacts. All of the wheels are engaged according to the NMRA standards gauge. So on the tender, this front set of wheels is free to move around. And some of the other wheels have a lot of side-to-side -side play, again, to accommodate sharper curves. And it appears that these four sets of wheels here pick up power, and the others do not. All of the wheels are engaged according to the NMRA standards gauge. I'm running the engine on DCC. And the way the decoder is set up, the F2 key does the long toot, and F3 does a short toot. I like how the exhaust gets in and out of phase seemingly randomly.
Low speed performance is pretty good. So this engine comes wired so that the number boards come on when the track power is on. And also the headlight works directionally. And one of the cool things is that the dynamo sound comes on when you turn on the headlight. If I had one thing to be disappointed about though, it's the headlight itself is pretty dim in front. Uh, the backup light on the back of the tender is actually a lot brighter. So this is the rear light. Another cool thing with this model is it comes with this booklet, which includes some history of the big boys, and also exploded view drawings, which are very useful if you ever need to take the thing apart for any reason. And there's also, um, has parts, parts listed and also exploded view drawings of the tender as well. And there's also instructions in here on uh, how to operate the DCC decoder. Overall, I think this is a really impressive model. It's impressive in size. Uh, it's impressive in how well it runs, in the detail that it has. I was very impressed that all the wheels were engaged, considering how many wheels it has. And the coupler height, even though it only has one coupler factory installed, is correct. And that's something I often fault models for. So uh, kudos to Atherin for that. Um, I was a little disappointed in the headlight. But um, other than that, I can't really find anything wrong with it. So I'm going to give this model a solid 10 out of 10 spikes. If you or your company make a product that you'd like us to review, please drop us a line at reviews at tsgmultimedia.com.